Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Seek as a Construct, and today we're going on a toy hunt. I haven't done one of these in a while, and there's a new exclusive Funko Pop coming out at Box Lunch that I really want to get, and I saw them post it online. The best way to find out when stuff is releasing at Box Lunch or Hot Topic is definitely following your local ones, any that are in your area. Follow them on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, and they usually post a picture, you know, the night before of what's going to be available the next morning, and they tell people to get there early and line up. So that's what we're going to do because I really want to get one of these guys. Uh, Conchu from Moon Knight. They have a Funko Pop that is exclusive to Box Lunch that is glow in the dark. And apparently they're limiting them to people, like two per person. And I really just need one. So I'm going to go in there and try to pick one up. And uh, I might text my brother and see if he wants one too. Uh, because sometimes he'll pick up stuff for me. But, uh, but you know, so I'll return the favor. This figure just looks cool. Um, I would love to have it for the new apartment. And that's why I want to go get it. So fingers crossed. Here we go. And look at that, mission success. We have the Moon Knight Box Lunch exclusive glow-in-the-dark version of Conchu in Funko Pop form. So yeah, hopefully I have some cutaways there of like up-close shots of this guy um, in and out of the box. But I'm just so pumped to get this. Like I was going to try to get the glow-in-the-dark one. And if I missed it, I was like, okay, then I'll try to track down the non-glow-in-the-dark version. And I've just been, you know, still moon nighting out when I can, whenever I see merchandise. My friend Nate picked up a few things for me. He got this giant magnet for me. So we're going to put this in our new apartment. We're going to put it somewhere, either on our fridge or one of our, you know, um, communication boards between me and my other parts. Um, and then we also have this, which we got at Megacon. Nate got it for us. Uh, yes, I'm a uh, good reflection of my screen, Venom Vlog. Um, Nate got this for us, and it's just like a custom-made moon knight lego guy with the image of the tv show in the background so we're definitely going to hang this somewhere in our new apartment as well so yeah i still am freaking out over moon knight stuff and now we're finally at the time where some of the merch is coming out um but then when we weren't though you know me and nate were tracking down stuff like this where people were custom making things because that's all that was out there and i really wish you know marvel had a better timing for some of this stuff. I understand some of those things are out of people's control and with different companies, it's a hard to juggle and especially during the pandemic and all that stuff. But, you know, as we're pushing through that and we're, and, you know, everything's trying to get back. It's like, I, I, I want to make a good argument for like why Moon Knight stuff took so long to come out. Um, and I think it was the same with WandaVision and maybe even Loki to an extent, but I feel like those came out closer to while the show was still airing. And even Thor Love and Thunder just came out this weekend and I saw toys everywhere for it. So I'm kind of like, what the heck, man? What's going on? Like, we're, we're no love for Moon Knight. So let me know what you think of this uh, figurine. You know, are you going to try to go get the glow in the dark one? Do you have it? If not, are you going to try to track one down? Um, if you can't, are you going to get the regular version? Um, either way, it's a really cool looking thing. Uh, figure in general and I love the design of him in the show and I love the execution of him in the show I thought he was awesome he reminded me a lot of Venom uh, where he was like calling Steven an idiot and stuff like that and, and I just I love that so uh, yeah so I'm really drawn to this character a lot <laughs> he's really really cool and I even wore like a Conchu shirt when I went to pick this toy up uh, which was uh, when people were like oh wow we know what this guy's here for and it's like yeah I want this Funko Pop and if you'd like to see more toy hunt type videos let me know because after I move into the new apartment, I, I might actually be closer to like Targets and Walmarts and stuff like that. And I could probably do those from time to time if, if you're interested. So let me know down below and we'll continue the conversation as always down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future.
Peace.